I'm going to make a motor mount out of a roll of cardboard and a used rocket motor and we're going to wrap the rocket motor really tightly with cardboard just so it fits nice and snug inside of there. The first thing we need to do is measure the width of the cardboard we're going to need and all we need to do is make the cardboard strip as wide as our rocket motor. So right here we're just going to mark that and we're going to cut ourselves a nice long strip for cardboard. You want to make sure when you cut your cardboard you cut it where the ridges are. That way as you roll your cardboard up those ridges work with you instead of trying to fold the cardboard against the ridges which may, is hard to do. Okay. So we're going to take this and really tightly roll the cardboard around our rocket motor as tight as we can. Like that. Take our rocket tube and see if we can slide it in there. Oh, that was just a perfect guess on my part. How long to make it? That's nice. Don't put it in too far. That piece of cardboard that's going to fit there is five, four and three quarters inches long, twelve centimeters long. Perfect. So cut your piece 12 centimeters long by the width of your rocket motor. Depending on the cardboard you're using, you might have to use less or more. But this is another thing you have to try a couple times. So, yes, it fits in there. It's not too loose. Perfect. We're going to take it. We're just going to undo it a little bit. And we're going to put some glue right along that edge. And we're going to close it as tight as we can and hold it there until the glue cools off. Don't get any glue on the rocket motor. You want to be able to slide that out. Be very careful when you roll this over there so you don't get the hot glue on your fingers. It will come out. Just hold on to it nice and snug. Next, we're going to make a motor stop. We're going to basically take a little piece of cardboard and put it inside the top of our motor mount that way it stops the motor from coming all the way out the top when it finally lights up without a motor mount. The motor is just going to come right out straight through the top of the rocket. So we just need to make a simple little stopper. The other thing about our stopper is it can't be too big because coming out of the top of our rocket motor is the ejector charge. That's what pops out and blows out our parachute. So we need to make sure that there's enough room for that charge to come out as well. You don't want to restrict it. Very easy to do. We're just going to take a small piece of this cardboard, again we're going to cut it with the corrugations, that way we can roll it up, and we're only going to make it about that wide. We don't need a lot of it, we need a good little strip. That's about all we need. We'll put it in here, and figure out roughly we need about half of it. You're going to set it in there. So you have a ring all the way around, just like that, okay? Push your rocket motor in, push it up to the top so it's not about to pop out, just like that, okay? Remember that spot now, now we're just going to pop it out, get your pencil. Take your pencil, push it out, we're going to put a little bit of hot glue around this piece just around a little ribbon. Then we're going to force it back in there. We're going to use our pencil to smooth it out along the edges. I've just hot glued it and put it back in the motor mount. We're just going to push out on it with a pencil just so the glue holds onto it. There. Well, that should be enough to keep our rocket motor from popping up the top. Yep when we launch it. Perfect fit. That's how much rocket motor we have sticking out. Nice. Our next step, we're going to actually install this in the rocket tube. We have to be aware that we have our stopper at the top, not at the bottom. If you put it in wrong, you're going to take this apart. Make sure the stopper is in at the top, and that is what you're going to put into the tube. Put a ribbon of hot glue around my cardboard mount. Stop is up at the top. Careful, the glue is hot. It's going to come out at you a little bit. We're going to put that inside. Nice and slow push. 
You want to push it in until you have about that much out there. We'll let that glue cool and move on to our next step.